Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Following Forward Financial. Just a um, morning um, video here. I'm going to try doing some uh, morning videos on some of the biggest movers, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, just trying to stay consistent with a couple things here, but this is uh, stocks making the biggest moves in the pre-market. So we have Amazon, uh, Boeing, CrowdStrike, and others. So I'd love to see uh, Boeing go up. I just I'm kind of in the red on it. I would like to uh, dump it and put it into something else. And I got some more uh, great news coming out about uh, Amazon. So, um, but Amazon is the first one. Amazon jumped 5.3 percent in the pre-market uh, after it announced a 20. I've been waiting for this day for four years. 20 for one stock split and a 10 billion dollar share buyback. Uh, the 20 for one split follows a similar move made by uh, Google, and I made a video about uh, Google and their split. Uh, I think that takes place in uh, July uh, earlier this year and is reviving discussion about uh, whether Amazon or Alphabet uh, might become members of the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average, so we'll have to wait and see. Boeing, the FAA, has finalized uh, safety directives aimed at uh, fixing Pratt & Whitney engines issues are certain uh, Boeing 777 jets. Uh, Boeing fell 1.5% in the pre-market, so don't like to hear that. Like I said, I would like to get that one up to where I'm at least in the green and uh, sell it. So, uh, Lockheed Martin, I wish I would have bought um, instead of uh, Boeing, but um, CrowdStrike uh, surged 12.5% in the pre-market trading after reporting better than expected quarterly profit and revenue. The cybersecurity company also issued an upbeat 2022 forecast. CrowdStrike uh, said it would uh, strongly pursue market share and cybersecurity demand as the de cybersecurity demand accelerates. So definitely put that one on your watch list. Asana shares tumbled 24.1% in the pre market after a collaboration software company forecasts a wider than expected loss for the uh, current. Quarter, Asana reported a narrower than expected loss for its most recent quarter. Marketa rallied 7.4% in the pre market action after reporting better than expected quarterly revenue and a break even quarter in the face of an expected bottom line loss. Fintech company also issued an upbeat uh, current quarter revenue forecast. Um, JD is another one I'd like to get rid of. I'm in the red. Reported better than expected profit and revenue for its last, last, latest quarter. And more shoppers used its e-commerce platform, but the China-based company also reported its slowest revenue growth since 2020. Will's Up Experience, I haven't heard of this one. Up, the private aviation company, reported a quarterly loss of 31 cents per share, 6 cents wider than consensus estimate. Revenue, however, was uh, well above estimates of $345 million, representing an increase of 64% over a year earlier. Anthem, uh, the health insurer, plans to change its name to uh, Elevance Health, according to a Wall Street Journal. The uh, move, which will require shareholder approval, is designed to reflect its broadening of its corporate portfolio. And last, uh, GCO Genesco, the uh, footwear and accessories retailer, reported better than expected quarterly revenue and profit, with same store sales raising 10% and e-commerce sales jumping 36% compared to a year ago. So there you go. Have Genesco, Anthem, Wheels Up Experience, JD, Marketa, Asana, CrowdStrike. I would definitely watch that one. Boeing and I would definitely watch Amazon and Google. They've both been down. I've been buying. If you don't have twenty five hundred to three thousand, you can buy uh, slices on uh, Schwab. So I would definitely recommend that. Uh, but that's some of the biggest moves in the pre market. We'll see if anything moves in the after market or during the day. Uh, but if you have any of those, go ahead and list those in the uh, comments along with your cost bases. Any other information you'd like to share? And your thoughts on uh, Amazon, I'm uh, looking forward to that. That's going to be awesome. So, And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing. And hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop.
Again, this is Jay Money following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.